Okay, kiddos and kidettes, because obviously I am lazy and I don't know what, then I'm a, yeah, I'm looking at myself in the camera and adjusting as I do this. Um, I've been blogging about my road trip home. Well, actually I've been home in New Jersey for three weeks. So let me catch you up real quick. What I'm gonna do, cause I can do videos because videos allow me to look at myself while I talk to you and I'm kind of conceited. But I gotta use it. I'll see it. I gotta use it. Okay. But, um, yeah. So, I can do videos all day. All that typing and stuff, I'm just not for it. I know it's hilarious. You love it. I just... <sighs> uh, uh, M G. Anyway, so, yes, I am in New Jersey. But you want to know at a, what happened in Atlanta because that's where we left off, right? I was going to Atlanta. Okay, got to Atlanta, still feeling a little bit under the weather, checked into my hotel, which was a Holiday Inn, which was fat, big shout out to my girl, P. I'm just gonna say P, old job having ass P, okay? Cause she got a job and things, okay? But she made it happen. Um, so I checked in there the first night, it was Monday when I got there, and then made a plan to head to Wet Willie's with my home girl, and all these names are Twitter names, at Brittany Francis, at DeFello, D3, F E F three L O. Okay? You got to put the threes where the E's are. And uh, my homegirl, Mrs. Xavier B. Okay? M-S-X-A-V-I-B. Follow them. They're super cool and super wonderful ladies. And uh, we went to Wet Willie's, had one drink, because it's Wet Willie's player. One. And there was, like, when we got there, me and Brittany rode together... Uh, Xaviera and D were there already, and when we got there, they were being flirted with by some gay dudes. Um, yes, D and Zavi are ladies, and they're heterosexual ladies, but there was a table of gay men, homosexual men, sitting next to them, and they were just flirting their little butts off, trying to get phone numbers and where they work and who they kicked it with and where they'd be and stuff like that, and I was quite confused, but hey... It's Atlanta, so what are, you, what are you gonna do, as Reverend Run would say. So, we went to Wet Willie's, we had a good time, got to meet the ladies, which was great, because that was like, I wanted to do that on my road trip home. Got to meet the ladies, hang out, had some great laughs. For instance, one of the waitresses, she was like Frankie Cole skinny, but she had on these white booty shorts. That was like, I don't want you serving me anything topped with cheese for the obvious reasons just mmm because that might be your cheese that might not be cheddar just mmm that ain't prolong gross just mmm no you don't need to do that and then there was a chick out there apparently at wet willies they check your bag after you leave you have a big bag ladies well it is Atlanta fellas too so they check your bag after you leave to make sure you didn't put your drink in the bag to try and take it in the car and take it home so they stopped this chick to check her bag and she was like spazzing out and you know nah, 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 nah. why you checking me i ain't doing nothing and they called the marta police what what the hell the marta police gonna do they they handle the subway it ain't no subway they handle the train and the buses in Atlanta, like, would you call the Marta police or something in her bag? She can't ride the train no more. She can't. She can't ride the bus. What? How? How? How she gonna get to Savannah? She can't ride the bus. How she gonna get to Savannah? Okay. So that was like forty minutes of why? Why did they call the Marta police? Cause the Marta police pulled up in a little van with their hand on their mace and stuff, all official and stuff. I was like, oh, they called the Marta police. But wait. It's the Marta police. What the Marta police gonna do? However, the fine ass security guard, whose name I cannot remember, but we do have a picture of, um, explained to us that Marta polices the area around Wet Willies, and they have the same authority, authority, if you will, as the Atlanta Police Department. So, fuck around at Wet Willies if you want to. Tongue and Groove is around the corner. Fuck around at Tongue and Groove too, and the Marta police lock that ass up and that's not gangsta gangsta delicious to get locked up by the martyr police I'm, it's just not gangsta okay so that was monday so then britney francis and i were going to try to go to another club but we had to go by britney's house which is all the way out in west where the hell where the hell do you live child 
Okay, so we didn't get to another club. It was Havana Club or some stuff like that, whatever. We didn't get there. But it was cool. Uh, we hung out in my in my room, had some girl talk. You saw the infamous I can't get my damn shoe off video, which I will update you on that too. Good things. And then the next day was day two. Day two. Um, I went and got my hair done. My girl at Styles Unique, S T Y L Z U N I Q. That's my girl. That's my twin. Styles Unique. Holla at her. If you're in Atlanta, you need to get your hair done, weaves, relaxes, all that. Styles Unique will hook you up. She was trained by the best. My mama. She she got you. No lies. No lies. So I hung out with Styles Unique, and that was big, big, big fun. And um, then we all got together and we went to 300 and we went bowling. And now I put out the call on Twitter, on Facebook, if you're in the A, come through, blah, blah, blah. But I know I'm not a big time celebrity radio personality, can't play your records, no calls, no calls. I get it. I got you, booze. But the ladies that did come out, we had a ball. And that was at Brittany Francis, at Odara 112, at Styles Unique, and... It's one more I can't remember. Hold on, I gotta look at my camera. I'll get it out while I talk. But so we went to 300 lanes and we got our bowling on on a Tuesday night, which was a low key night. And everybody was like, oh, 300, it's gonna be a whole bunch of people in there. It's gonna be so crazy. And it wasn't. It was cool. It was really cool. We had fun, had a couple drinks. I whooped everybody's ass. Everybody's ass. It was just too easy. Um, and, you know, I had a good time, and I was very happy to see the ladies there, and, um, you know, I thank them again for joining me. I'm trying to find the pictures so I can, um, say who was all there. Yeah, that was it. Oh, yeah, because at a TZ with three E's, was supposed to join us, but she stood us up, but that's okay. Still got love for you, mama. So, it was, uh, myself. At Crystal Bublin, at Brittany Francis, at Styles Unique, and at Odara 112. Here's a little sneak peek of the picture. Okay, there you go. And we went to 300, and we had a great time. And then I met up with my girl Starlet PR, and I got to see the new baby, DJ Judge the Third, Or is it Junior? I don't know. I had a martini, a margarita. Mm. But I got to see the pretty little baby. Handsome little fella, and he was great. We had a great talk. Big shout out to Starlet PR, and thank you to everybody that came and hung out when I was in Atlanta. I had a ball. And uh, then the next day, my birthday! Hey, my birthday! Oh, 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 oh. But that'll be the next video. There are some pictures. Look down there. Yeah, I'm going to post the pictures, little captions, because I'm not on the clicking. Mm -mm, nah. But check out the pictures. All right, your girl, Crystal Bubbling. Peace.